The start of school always presents new challenges, and this year they are making headlines in Knox County. A bus shortage, power outages, a surprise dismissal at a middle school, all in the first four days, the first week in Knox County. Tennis reporter Ryan Connors joins us with a conversation he had with the superintendent about a district with almost 60,000 students and more than 90 schools and how they dealt with it. Ryan? John, Dr. John Ryswick says there were indeed some obstacles this first week, but he had high praise for how employees in the school district dealt with them. Unpredictable. That's how the Knox County School Superintendent described the first week of school for the county. I think obviously it's been a, a non-traditional week when you throw in the, the weather components and things like that. On Tuesday, Sequoia Elementary students showed up to school to find power cut off to part of the school all due to the first ever August tornado in Knox County history. Uh, but that's not uncommon either. When you have over 90 facilities in a given day, we have power go out all the time. Um, and so what we do at that point is we look at what's the problem. We get uh, with our partners at that point and try to get a, what's the projected timeline, what's the problem. On Thursday, students at Bearden Middle School went home early after an odor from sealant used in the auditorium renovations created a distracting stink. Middle schoolers are expected to return back Monday. The smell, according to the district, is not toxic. Uh, and people want to you know, understand where it's coming from and that sort of thing. So uh, for us, it was, it was out of caution just to take the day to day, give it the weekend to finish airing out. And A national school busing shortage is hitting Knox County as well, with some local schools putting out requests for new drivers. It's a, it's a tough situation because they also need to make sure they're hiring quality uh, for safety. That's very important, too. So. After a week full of troubleshooting, Knox County Schools says they believe the rest of the year will be much smoother. Now, I also asked the superintendent about concerns that parents have of fourth graders about a lack of enough reading tutors to help kids trying to catch up to the state reading standards. He says enough tutors are available. They're just working through some issues as the first year of the program is underway. Back to you, John. All right, Ryan Connor is on the update. Thank you.